Oh, I've got to speak to her. Welcome back, Captain. Hello. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Do it. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. Cool. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. I'm excited. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Sure. Sounds like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. What? Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Okay. Once you have everything you need, Nioka. make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Screw it. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. They're all asleep. They don't even know I'm doing this. Okay. Olympus. Okay, we're going to Monarch. Dude, there's a lot of planets here. Like, what the shit? Warning dangerous. Okay, we'll go for the one that's not dangerous for now. See where that takes us. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Yeah, okay. Monarch, new planet, finally. I'm gonna go close that damn curtain. It's a little too bright. Oh wow, this is not quite... This is not quite what I expected. This is not beautiful at all. I don't know why I was expecting beauty, but... I guess this is just not what I was expecting. What? Whoa! What am I hearing? Oh, this is the town! Okay, okay, okay. We're, we're in the town. Interesting. As always, let's just have a quick look around. See if there's anything worth nabbing here. Probably, as always, you can't jump on stuff due to invisible walls. Mm hmm. This was a tight squeeze of a landing. Okay, let's go. What? The Yacht Club? Is this guy waiting for us? His name is Grim. Oh no. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. You what? Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yep. Uh, you seem surprised. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Hmm. What are they doing? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing, so here goes. Wow. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. I don't know what to say to these people now. I don't think it matters, but... Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. Okay. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Is it really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. 
And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Oh, of course. Not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sandar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. Okay. Are you saying the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Okay, so we gotta speak to Sanjar. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Absolutely, dude. Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? Sure, man. I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tosswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't this heard anything so enthusiastic. in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? I will. Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. What? Only one of the greatest Tosswell hackers ever. Holcomb. I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Huh. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? I've been in hibernation for decades. Oh, you're real funny. Guess I don't feel so bad for missing what goes on in the rest of Stellar Bay. I'll check on the poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Damn, this guy's super hyped. He's just so happy to see people. It's actually great. Actually, I want to try this new gun of mine. Hold on. I just, I sort of mentioned that I had it. Ultimatum. But I didn't try it. It looks pretty basic. We'll see. I didn't read the notes for it. I will check it out in a moment. Please don't be too much talking. Please, God, please. Oh my jeez, God. Of all the times and places we could have been born. Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? That's like the worst voice acting I've ever heard. Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, she's gonna be a companion. I can see it already. Several phrases have been marked off. Right between the eyes. There were three, no, four of them. That rep was this big. Took it down with one shot. Buy me a drink. Oh. Nyoka? Bar talk bingo sheet. Okay. Wow. Okay. So they. This is going to be interesting. Oh, you didn't land near the town? Oh, dude. I would have preferred a hard trek to get to town. What the shit? Yeah. So I got the nav key and it landed me right here in town. Okay. So let's see how. Let's check the bingo sheet when we speak to her. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. I keep listening. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I, shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? She seems like a hoot. This is gonna be great. Who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm Nioka. the best big game hunter on the planet. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. Shut the fu- <sighs> Fair point. <laughs> I deserve it though. On account of being the best. True. My dad always kept his firearms and liquors in different lockers said it wasn't safe to mix them out here if you ain't a little buzz you're liable to notice the stench of life the 
Griffin. What is she wearing? The dust in every drink and the blood on every boot. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lumen. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. She's crinkling up her nose. I'll That's cute. Sure. Another round, bartender. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, go, do it. Outstanding. Hey, Reduce Silver, what up? What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? So, toasted ham and cheese naan, butternut squash soup. That sounds really good. Ham and cheese naan. We had ham and cheese sandwiches today. Uh, toasted sandwiches. Uh, I had ham, cheese. It was like a... Like a, was it a gypsy ham? I don't remember. Uh, with cheese and mushrooms and tomato. It was a good sandwich. And then obviously the cheese melts because you're toasting it. It was real nice. I'm told you can help me find an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pill. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month. On account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean caffeinoid? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? All right. What? <laughs> like, really? Medicine from the MSI dispensary? Like, are you serious? I'm collecting drugs for her. Oh uh, God! Mask and canid eyes, right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in raptodon tongue, or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Uh, why would I buy any of that? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested, so I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett, Franklin Pickett from Edgewater. That's him. He'd been here years, but he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Ah. Who's Celia? Pavari, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. Ah. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon. Life. Oh my god, maybe we'll As finally find that it, queen. Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the mm. last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. Probably a manta queen here he somewhere. He came to Stellar Bay years ago. Just before the board cut us off. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta queens, especially. Oh my god, so he's actually still after it. Have you seen a manta queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen one? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. But I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I feel awful if somebody <laughs> from home was in trouble and... Well, I don't know what that guy's doing. Is he vomiting, maybe? What. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Fair deal, man. Let's do it. Thanks, Captain. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate. The one right here. And head past the abandoned ruins. Oof, I'm ready. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that ways could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. Check my previous comment for the answer. About the hard trick landing outside town. Got it. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Holy crap, I don't want any of this shit. Okay. Oh, it's a woman, and she's in distress. Oh, 
Thank you for That's stopping. what she's doing. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Who's your little boy? Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. Hmm. That is not helpful. <laughs> okay, your child's missing. Where did you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the woman to save your little ducky. And I was right. He ran out She's probably crazy. a few days ago. She's probably I crazy. About the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? I'm almost certain there's no boy or something like that, but... Sure, why would he run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. Oh, he's not he a little boy. Understand how he's a grown man. Is out there. Probably a grown man. I warned him. A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. <laughs> should have listened to his mama i promised i'd keep him safe here with me okay man where would he have gone he's been listening to those awful broadcasts that the iconoclasts put out i begged sanjar to put a stop to them but did he no and now i just know my boys run off to amber heights that is if a manta queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already no, we had regular mushrooms. It was like button mushrooms or something on our sandwiches. What were you saying about the I I what iconoclasts? Those low-life degenerates leading innocent boys into a life of danger. Oh, they make it sound so exciting. Like it's noble to risk it all out there fighting for the greater good. How noble is it to worry your loved ones? Not at all, I say. But still they preach their sermons of anarchy and rebellion to anyone who listened. If they weren't holed up in Amber Heights, I'd knock them all upside the head. Okay, I'll, I'll go check out. Where's Amber Heights? That old settlement, southwest of Stellar Bay. I don't know which is worse. The thought of my son shacking up with the nutty iconoclasts. He's probably fine. He never made it. Sprats could be nesting in his rotting body alongside the If road, he exists, he's probably fine. Speak. Or... Or maybe Marauders got him, pulled all his teeth out, crushed him into their drugs, and made him snort him. Oh, the things that could happen to my sweet baby. Oh my god. Okay, I'll help you find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. Yep. And if you find I want to see what outside of time looks like. Indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Actually, I've decided now. He's probably not a little boy. He's probably a fully grown man. Probably a fully grown man. Now I want to see where this goes, man. I'm not going to shoot her. I really don't need more ammo, but yeah, why not? But you're right, she is whiny. <clears throat> so let's just do this thing with Nikoya or whatever. What the hell? Okay, we're not going to go in there yet. Zeng's Emporium discovered. Oh, is this... Wait, is this Zeng's Emporium? Oh, holy crap, man. So many people to talk to. Well, well. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. Uh -oh. What can I get you? What? Oh, good. If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. There's no converse. Whoa, what is this? Plasma launcher. Hunting rifle ultra. I have one of those now already, so... Lucky. Why is this locked? Huh. 
Hmm. Sell junk. Uh, repair. I guess. Nothing I need here. <clears throat> that's cool, that's cool. I'm glad that they didn't force me to go through a massive conversation there as well. I mean, they never really force you to do that, but I, I feel obliged. It's like, I feel like I have to. Obligated, sorry. What? Someone's been killed. Talmage? Interesting name. I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you alright? Tell me, tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes. But this, if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. That's exactly where I'm well, going. If you'll excuse mm -hmm. me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. You're not going to actually take the hot shower? Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. What spooked you? I can do for this guy. Victim. Toss ball bed in slip. This bed in slip lists increasingly bold wages made through team gold, mostly colonists. It's from the left field toss ball bed in. I assume we have objectives update in here, but I don't know. I didn't see them popping up or whatever, so. Well, at least we know what to do now. He probably got roughed up by the bed in service people. That is a lot of blood. Are we going to look through the apartments? Who's this? Sorry about you about this, then files digging from the apartment upstairs. I uh, don't know what Celia is keeping up there. She works for you, right? Talk to her about it. Please try to keep your windows shut to try to explain, even though I've been a problem. I know you keep odd hours because I've heard you come in at uh, night, but maybe you could try close your door a little more quietly. Oh my god. She's a whiny, whiny neighbor. Got news from the rest of Halcyon? Nope. Okay, so up here. Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. Oh no, Isaac. Whenever they mention another name, I know there's someone new to talk to. Holy crap, dude, we're power leveling. We're power leveling. This is insane. Oh no, Laura. That was super quick. Poetrix, what's up, man? Hello, how am I enjoying it? You just finished it? Dude, awesome. That's great to hear that you played it yourself. I'm loving it, man. It's like... I don't know, man. It's just like what I've been waiting for. For a little while, I've been having this this feeling that I needed to play this kind of RPG. The setting is awesome. I'm loving the the weird and messed up advertising and, and rules and regulations that these corporations have. I'm, I'm liking the main story so far, even though we're not so far into it. We just arrived on Monarch for the first time. Uh, but I'm liking the idea of us trying to save the, the colonists on the Hope. And, man, it's just it's great, man. It's great, it's great. Like, it's just, they, they did good with this game. Not too many technical issues to complain about, not too many bugs or whatever. It's just, it's just cool. Okay, so we're gonna go for more in here. Hmm. Although I feel like at, at a certain point I need to start worrying about getting more of this. Let's do that. And then put this in here. It's like I'm gonna I'm gonna spread things out a bit. I know I said I don't want to spread it out too much, but that wasn't too much. Okay, Laura. Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Sure. Carry on. That was an interesting conversation. Save. Don't mind me. I can take a hint. Wait, is this working? I'm not startling her. Like, it didn't seem to be... Okay. I forget the whole time that I can pickpocket people. 
So, wait, there was nothing else here? Interesting. Right, so, Stella Bay. That just says Stella Bay. Have we been in here? Uh, oh, this is where we met her. Wait, is this where we met her? No, this is a different bar. Or is this the same bar? God, I don't even know, man. Chef Raymond. Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. There's quite a lot to shoot on this planet, so maybe some more long guns. True, maybe my next few levels I'll put some more in guns. That's probably a good idea, yeah. Wow, the, the, everyone gets a fright. Everyone's easily startled on this planet. I didn't mean to startle you. Why is everyone so chicken livered? Let's ask that. Easy for you to say. You can hop into your spaceship and leave any time. This town is enough to try anyone's nerves. Yeah, Potrix, I was thinking, like, it might be interesting to try a companion-centric playthrough. Like, where you focus on the companions and boosting them up and making them strong. You get perks for it. You get your skills for it. You get, like, uh, all the, the leadership stuff. It, that could be kind of fun. I was, I was actually just thinking about what you could do differently. How's that? Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Okay, why did you stay in the first place? Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. Ten hours? It all sounds wonderful. Until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. I don't have all the companions yet, no, so I've got... A f I'll show you in a moment. I'll, well, in a little bit, I'll tell you. I've got... Uh, Vicar Max. Obviously, Pav Pavari. Uh, Ellie. And then the, b the the boy guy. What's his name? A uh, Alex... No. Uh, God, the boy guy. The guy. The smooth guy. We found him standing on the, jo on the landing pad. Felix, thank you. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, and I think I'm about... To, I, I'm almost certain we're about to get a new one. Uh, Nokoya? Nokoya? Whatever her name is, I think she's a companion as well. I can just tell just by the amount of character they put into her character. Nyoka, sorry. Yeah, no, she wants drugs, but I'm almost certain she's going to be a companion. I have to find her drugs for her. Uh, seems like you'd want more centimeters. That's what she said. Ah. <laughs> There's truly no end to my suffering. Okay. Ever thought about leaving? Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Why don't you just... Why don't you just tell me? Nothing. That's what. Because MSI is not in what you'd call good standing with the board. So even if I could get out of here... This guy no better be a chef. He is. His name is Chef Raymond. That sounds rough. Even talking about it has my blood pressure up. I've really got to stop. Lucky you. Wow, dude. What the hell was the point of that conversation? Just to, like, drive home how depressing it is here. Dude, it's really windy. Oh, my God. Not in-game. Sorry. Uh, IRL. It's really windy. You only found Felix at the end of the game? You felt kind of dumb when you found him? Dude, I almost missed him as well. No jokes. I almost missed the guy, too. Okay, so where are the drugs? I need to go find... There's the dispensary. If okay. Vilma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles and needs a little edge. 
Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Sorry, I've got to get back to the warehouse. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Oh, my God. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Wow, this voice. It also picked up a weight supplement. Who's Velma? She works over at the fishery next door. Quite the hard worker, but she's got a bit of a temper. Temper? Why, just the other day, I heard her shouting from here. I can't imagine what set her off. Lesbians oh, everywhere. Here I go again, <laughs> running my mouth when it's none of my business. Was there something else? She was pretty interested in that guy. Don't worry about it, man. She was pretty interested in that guy. So, I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid supplement. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Oh! Now, dearie, who is this picture? She says for? to the doctor. Pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclast and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for stellar Bay Oh residents. my god. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Ellie's great, man. I love Ellie and I love Pavardi. They're such a contrast in couple, you know. That's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? I don't know, Auntie. You'd have to pry that secret from my sweet little cheeks. Don't blame me if I puke on your shoes. Aren't you a saucy thing? Now, I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but with age comes experience, dearie. Uh, why don't you show me a thing or two? <laughs> Do it. Much as I'd love to, my rheumatism is especially fierce at the moment. Oh and my I'm god. I'm out of my medicine. But I'd hate to send you away empty handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't you? Who's it for? It's for Nick. Uh, I don't know if I should do it. That's private. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you. One oh my way god. Or another. I thought I was going to get something. Also, okay, whatever. I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Okay. Bribe and persuade. Why don't you just write it down as lots of bits? How does 2600 sound? I suppose that's reasonable. I'm not paying her that much. Indeed. Now, how about you tell Auntie who this pickup's for? I'll tell her who it's for. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I had told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Uh. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. Okay. Where can I get her next dose? I'm afraid it'll be the better part of a month. Our dear Nyoka tends to exhaust her supply rather quickly. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you. I did fix but the robot, actually. I'd sprain water all around my Dr. kitchen now. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh. I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Let's go. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. 
forgetful fellow, eh? Careless experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. But until then, it's lots of fun. Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. Where can I find Dr. Williams? Uh, I don't want to... Okay, let's ask. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Where's the graveyard? Flower of enlightenment? It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. I think I can just go and steal what I need. I, this is kind of ridiculous. Hack 55. I am almost certain. Here we go. What? I have 55 and I can't use it. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. I swear. Okay. Okay, we'll just find what we need over here. Right? Is that caffeinoid? Oh! Easy. Drink the mind milk? Yeah, yeah, it would have been enough. Let me do it anyway to see if it works. It's this one, right? No? There we go. Still not enough. How the hell? Is my hack not like way high? Oh, it's 53. Oh my god. Oh, engineering. Oh, hack is stealth skills. Oh. Yeah, okay. That's kind of unfortunate it's kind of unfortunate but it is, we don't need it anymore obviously wait is there any other way of getting it like dexterity or something it doesn't matter like I said I don't need it okay so we got Nakoya stuff Nyoko's Ni stuff Whatever. I, I forget her name, man. Seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean, more than usual. You're probably looking for Velma. I made it a point to stay. Velma, Velma, Velma. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Take it easy. I'm just looking around. Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep... You what? Running your yap like that. What are you talking about? Catherine? Take it easy, I'm just looking around. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. Okay. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Your chief what? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. He'll come back eventually. Uh, he'll come back eventually. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Oh, he's dead. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? <sighs> you said Braxton's been stealing drugs? Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. 
and yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton ships. Oh. Okay, nice of you not to say anything. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. Hmm. Okay, what's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. <laughs> he and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to him for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Catherine? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. What about Caleb? Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again? I've got nothing to say. Good. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. She's got a point. Don't they deserve compensation? Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Okay, okay. Are you willing to meet him halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Either way, it's going to be easy to get him back, so... Someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. Oh. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk. But if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. I don't need to steal that. Fine by me. Okay, so that's another set of quests for us. Holy crap, what the hell is this now? I'm assuming we can't go out there. Yeah, it's a... It's a dead end. That's kind of cool, I guess. I guess this is where they farm the salt tuna. I like it. Damn, dude. Oh, Stella Bay Ruins South. Dude, we are definitely going down there. And this? Ah. Damn, man, there's like a dungeon entrance right here. Wait, what's... This place is not looking so good, dude. Yeah, this place looks terrible, man. Okay. Now we have a bunch of stuff to do. And it's just not getting any less. Like, really. It's not getting any less. I don't even know when Nyoko went or whatever her name is. Dude, I don't know how I keep getting her name wrong. I think I'm tracking... Oh, Nyoka. There she is. Okay, so Dr. William's grave. I don't think I need to go to his grave, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to check in. Let's check. I wonder, unless it's outside. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just, you seem fine with the others. Did I 
do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Interesting. 